Welcome to the sneak peek of the Sony BRC X400 camera. We are working on integrating a great RCP experience for this camera. In the meantime, we can show you some of these features on our PDC controllers, including the new cruise control feature we have just released. So the BRC X400 uh, camera is uh, in the professional series of the Sony cameras. And thank you, Sony Japan, for helping us making this happen. We have uh, the PTC Extreme here as well. I'm sure you have seen this controller before. Otherwise, let me quickly introduce it to you. It has direct camera selection row down here. It has direct preview execution row right here. It has small LEDs that can be hooked up with tele information from your switching system, uh, yeah, vision mixing system, like an Atom Switcher, or TriCaster, or Roland. Um, we have typically a menu assigned to the buttons up here and then knobs for adjusting settings in the cameras. Yes, we do integrate all the features of these cameras specifically, so you'll find that um, the, the features Sony put into this will be available on our controller just like if it was a native experience. And one of those features is, uh, which is kind of special for the Sony cameras, uh, minimum and maximum shutter speed as an example. So let me show you what I mean. If you browse through this menu, you'll find stuff up here like white balance mode. Yeah, we have auto, uh, indoor, outdoor, and so on. I think we can see some effect of that if we look at the picture from the camera. We also have some um, exposure settings right here. We have uh, auto exposure mode enabled. And this is what we are going to look at, because if we go to iris priority mode and we go over here to the shutter uh, settings, then you can set a maximum shutter speed and a minimum shutter speed. So right now, the camera has chosen, because the shutter speed here cannot be adjusted, there's a little icon telling us that this setting is locked down. It is read back from the camera, so the shutter speed is uh, 1 over 25. But this is um, this happened because it was in iris priority mode. Only if I go to shutter mode here can I actually set the shutter speed, as you can see. Okay, let's go back to iris priority mode because what I wanted to show you is that the minimum and maximum shutter speed, specific and unique for Sony cameras, I would say, can be adjusted by these buttons. So as you see that I'm now raising the minimum shutter speed we can accept, and that forces the camera in iris priority mode to show us that shutter speed. And of course I can set the upper limit there as well. Let this serve as an example of how we put a lot of energy into supporting specific features in the cameras we integrate with. Other than that, we have the camera selector here. Unfortunately, only one camera, so there's no more buttons than a single one selected. But I do have a preview uh, recall here. I think this camera is pretty quick on the preview recall. As you can see, it's, um, yeah, it's pretty quick. And of course, I can uh, record a new preset if I wanted to, so let's just do that. This preset, I press and hold the button. And let me see, right, I want it right there. Press and hold the button, and, um, Preset 3, and now preset 4 is the one I just made. Now, I want to show you the cruise control feature, which is a unique feature integrated in our controller. So it's not found in the camera itself. It is our controller making this, um, the, the next feature you'll see happen by controlling the camera autonomously. So cruise control is a way for you to have multiple cameras operated by a single guy and still create very dynamic shots and cuts between the shots. So one of the um, issues that normally exist for a single operator of PTC cameras is that he, he needs to bring a camera into position and then to prepare a second shot, he needs to leave the first camera at its uh, framing, not being able to create any dynamic content like a, a slow pan or slow zoom, uh, stuff like that. So, but you can now do that with cruise control. Let, let me show you. So in this case, we are zoomed pretty far into a target, right? So now I make a slow zoom back from the RCP and I press this button. Now see that the, the zoom is still ongoing for as long as this button is counting down. Three, two, one, and zero, now the camera stops its creep zoom back from that position. The point of um, cruise control is to use this for you to have your hands free to set up a second camera. So we now uh, play this back once again. I now do the opposite. I, I, well, okay, let's zoom in and then let's make a pan instead. So I make a slow pan to the side, okay. I press this button. So what I would do now is select a different camera. I would recall a preset for that camera. I would maybe adjust it a little bit. I would cut on my mixing vision mixer. And the moment the camera stops, 
I should have been able to complete these steps. This button has a delay of 10 seconds. You can set that to any time that fits you. The point is really that you stop the camera from the drifting that it does so that it doesn't end up in the opposite direction completely. And another way you can control cruise control, apart from setting a delay, is to use um, a trigger to unset the uh, action. So let me just select the camera again here. I now make a pan to the right. I press this button. Now cruise control is ongoing for as long as I haven't pressed the button just next to here. So I really need to press this button to stop it again. And th the point here is, it's like you have a stop button that could be a key. It could also be a GPI trigger coming in over network. So you could have uh, any other trigger um, close to you. Even you could actually hook it up with your uh, vision mixing system, which would require a little bit of con um, configuration magic on the controller side, but potentially it's just a trigger that will tell your camera to stop moving because now we have changed over to a different angle. That's the idea, the vision behind cruise control and some of the features we either have already or will add to it. We look forward to your feedback on cruise control and how we can enhance it to make you even more productive as a one-man band or a small crew of people who want to operate PDC cameras and create really dynamic and um, uh, wonderful productions with a lot of uh, creep zooms and, and slow pans and so on uh, to mimic a large camera crew. Okay guys, the next thing you'll see from the BRC X400 camera is RCP control. That's where we are heading, but we need to do a little bit more work before we are right there. And um, that will enable this camera into real professional broadcast workflows. Mm -hmm.